The sieve of Eratosthenes is a method used to find prime numbers. You can use this to find prime numbers up to infinity, but since it's a very manual process, I'll only use it to demonstrate finding prime numbers that are less than 100. Before we start, let's define what prime numbers are and what composite numbers are. A prime number has to be a whole number, no decimals, and it has to be greater than 1. What differentiates it from a composite number is that a prime number only has two factors, 1 and the number itself. Numbers like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. On the other hand, a composite number, while it's also a whole number, has more than two factors. Let's take a look at 8. 8 is equal to 8 times 1, but it is also equal to 4 times 2. So 8 has 1, 2, 4, and 8 as factors. It has more than two factors. Another way to say it is that 8 is a multiple of 2 and 4 and 8. The concept of multiples is the key to the secret of the sieve of Eratosthenes. So the sieve of Eratosthenes works like a sieve, just like what its name suggests. It only lets out prime numbers. Let's work it out now. First, list all the whole numbers from 1 to 100. It would be good to write them in a table just like this. By definition, 1 is not a prime number, since prime numbers should be greater than 1, so cross it out. 2 is a prime number because 2 can only be expressed as 2 times 1, so circle it. From here on, all multiples of 2 are not prime. Why? Take 4 for example. 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2 in addition to 4 times 1. All other even numbers can be expressed as a product of 2 and another number. So shade them out. All even numbers are not prime, except for 2. The next unshaded number is 3. 3 is a prime because it is not a multiple of 2. So you can only get 3 by multiplying 3 times 1. Now all the multiples of 3 are not prime because, just like 6, it's not just 6 times 1. You also have 3 times 2. Shade all the multiples of 3. Circle 5 and shade all the multiples of 5. The next unshaded number is 7. Circle 7 and shade all the multiples of 7. Note that 9 is not a prime number since it can be expressed as 3 times 3. Circle 11 since it is prime and shade all the remaining multiples of 11 if there are any left. Now here's a little logical trick. All the remaining numbers are prime. You don't even need to work out the multiples. Notice that all the multiples of 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11 are already cancelled. So 13 times 2, 13 times 3, 13 times 5, 13 times 7, or 13 times 11 should already be cancelled. But note that 13 times 8 is already 104. So if 13 is multiplied by any number higher than 7, it will not be on the list. But what about 13 times 4? Any number multiplied by 4 is even, and all even numbers are not prime, except for 2. You have already shaded them out then. You can use the same concept for the rest of the numbers, that's why you can stop looking for any multiples after 11. So there you have it, here are all the prime numbers less than 100, found using the sieve of Eratosthenes. Subscribe to Inspiring Science Geek and let me know if you want more videos through the comments and please give a like if you enjoyed watching this video. Remember, learning is fun!